Great stadium, lovely evening, great to have you with us, welcome. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. With great anticipation, we're looking forward to the match coming up very shortly. This looks like a really good game, Alan. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out, who can gain the upper hand, who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions. And we pause now for the national anthems. This is the way Germany will start the game. Max Hummels plays alongside Nicolas Sula in defence. Serge Gnabry plays with Leroy Sané out wide. And the main striker is Timo Werner. A lot of inquests, of course, have gone on in Germany since they're very disappointing and worst ever exit said that they didn't like the training camp but i guess when you get knocked out like that everything's an excuse and they'll be back i can be absolutely certain of that check on the belgium starting 11. looking at the lineup he's got all the components in place hasn't he the manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Striding forward purposefully. Lukaku, Mertens, Thomas Mernier. Mertens. Loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. It's poor work, really. Eden Hazard, Romelu Lukaku. Hazard. Ruben Hazard. No space to get the cross in. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. Now Gnabry. Probing pass from Marco Royce. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Merton. In quickly. Schultz, but a space for him, now out on the wing. Now De Bruyne. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Cross. Now Gnabry. Marco Royce. Werner. It's a magic pass from Mateus. Needs to say cool. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Short corner. Tony Kroos. No, the opportunity didn't really uh, manifest itself, and it's a goal kick.
able to make the interception. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. One on one, and he stood up to the opposition and kept it out. Well, you can't ask for a better opportunity than that. Should have done much better. Should have scored. Royce. And he could get away here. That's very gallant goalkeeping to get the ball at the feet of the opponent. Yeah, keeper showed a bit of pace there, actually, to make up the ground and close down the attacker. Now Gnabry. Royce. Werner. He's given the free kick. He's in a really threatening position, too. Oh, it's Tony Kroos. He's going to take it. Well, they're sitting off the opposition here, and that can invite pressure. difficult from that kind of distance to get it up and over the wall thought for a moment that was going to dip in it's so hard to keep these modern day footballs down but he very nearly managed it now Gnabry saw it coming cut it out good work going forward well Good deep cross towards the far post. He couldn't have hit that better. Difficult technique. Yeah, and you've got to have confidence to take that on, and he is playing with confidence. Germany get the goal. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. not the easiest of managers to work for I know that but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now looking good for Germany they now lead that's very good shielding of the ball Mernier Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. They've been trying to do this, get the ball over the top. Well-timed run from Royce. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Well, goodness me, talk about efficiency in attack. They have scored again. And here is another angle on that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Referee's had a good look and decided from what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Marco Rose. Werner. Opportunity in a wider area. Could have done better. Well, there we are. The half-time whistle goes in this international friendly fixture. Not quite good enough so far, Alan. No, the heart's been willing, but uh, his teammates haven't been able to support him enough and give him good possession, as you can see there. And uh, they've got a bit of ground to make up here.
Time now for the second half to start. Torgan Hazard. Hazard. The wide man is Hazard. Good reading of the play by the defender there. At a time where his team... Hazard, good vision. He scored! Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. This is going to clear it up for us, Alan, I think. Well, looking at the goal scorer, he was convinced he'd timed his run, but looking at it, that's a great decision by the assistant. Ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. It's a heavy touch. Referee's given the free kick to Germany. Well, he can't go for goal, but it is a dangerous situation, this, because uh, if he gets it on the money, it's going to be hard to defend against. Well, he has gone for goal, but you wouldn't really know it. Look at it again. Well, well away from the target. No, he won't want to see that one back later tonight. Hazard made a quick interception. Chance to get forward from the wing. Sane, what a fine save. Corner from Kimmich. It's the crossbar. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Nabry. It's Kimmich. Put into the middle. Mateus. Surely he must score. He got in the way. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. going to come off the attacking midfield player a change to be made and uh, they've obviously feel he's done his job he was good oh he was good extremely good and he'll be uh, watching the highlights tonight i'm sure because uh, he was star man for me loto mateos the attacking team have got a problem here because the opposition are just sitting in and saying well you can break us down if you can they think perhaps they can't break them down Went with the header, and he's good in the air too, but not quite good enough then. Bit unfortunate. Next time, maybe he'll bury it. Thomas Muller. Mateus. And that's given away possession. Steer back to the goalkeeper Courtois. Eden Hazard. Well, they want to play from the back, and he's doing just that. Jan Vertonghen. Axel Witzel. Here's Carrasco. Very much the game of Yannick Carrasco. This a chance to show his skill at speed. Yannick Carrasco. Tried his luck. He saved it. He saved it well.
coming up now, a corner. That's a fine shot, an even better save. The ball did move in the air a touch, so he had to keep his concentration. Goalkeeper rising to the occasion, literally. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but nevertheless had to keep his eye on the ball. De Bruyne's delivery, good defending at the front post, but not such a good corner. Here's a chance to whip it in. And that will be a goal kick. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Goretzka. Lota Mateus. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Dropping deep is Hazard to collect possession. They're looking good when they attack. Now Eden Hazard with a cross. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Still progressing on the break. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. Mernier. His company. Toby Alderweireld. Now company. Jan Vertonghen. It's with De Bruyne. And five minutes remaining. Yannick Carrasco. Now De Bruyne. De Bruyne must have taken his eye off the ball. This does look promising. And the added time will be four minutes. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. On to Muller. Mateus. Werner. Probing the pass. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Tielemans. And it's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. Well, they've got their whole package here, haven't they? They put this game on to try and get a bit of a feel-good factor in the camp. And the result has done that, and the way they've gone about their work. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you never like to emphasise the necessity to win, but it's always nice, it's always a bonus when you do, particularly when you've got a bit more match practice for your players.